Today, I built a completely see-through base in Rust. Fences are a cheap alternative to using traditional walls, but there are some pretty serious downsides. Not only could players know exactly where all of my loot was, but they could even shoot into my base from the outside. Also, if I left any boxes or lootables too close to the outside walls, you can actually reach in and take what's inside. So, living here has some pretty obvious challenges, but is it actually possible to spend an entire wipe in this space? In order to find out, I hopped on a freshly wiped server and I got to work. What's up boys? Today I'm going to be doing a, almost a little bit of a challenge video because we're going to be building a base entirely made of fences. But anyway boys, I think we're going to have to run over to Outpost to actually get a decent start because building a 2x2 two two is actually going to be pretty expensive with the cost of all the metal fragments. So I think I'm just going to go to Outpost and farm up a ton of scrap and then we'll uh, build our starter base. <laughs> Okay boys, we made it to Outpost, so I'm just gonna hit a couple barrels and uh, farm up some scrap and we'll buy some materials for our base. Okay, so I have all the uh, materials that I need to build this base. And I'm just gonna choose a location and uh, build my starter base here. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. You know, another cool thing about this base is I don't even have to go inside to depot my loot. I just place the stuff in this box and it's completely safe. I've already tested it. You can't shoot arrows or, you know, melee this box at all. It just doesn't damage it. So in terms of our boxes, this is just as safe as having it in like a normal stone 2x2. But you know, even still, people can just come up and uh, kill me and take my loot at any time. But the main thing is, as long as we can keep our stuff in these boxes, we'll be completely safe in here. Yes. Give me our loot. Hell yeah, we got a Revy already, bro. This might actually be a good wipe. Got a jackhammer. Oh, he's right there. Hello. What the fuck? What's up, man? You like my base? Yeah, fuck with it, bro. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it. This is my own base. It's door camper proof base, yes? Alright, we have our first approval of our base. Ooh, somebody's farming wood down here. Ooh. Oh! Get a sword, bro. Yo, what the fuck? Get a Tommy on him with no bullets. What? Dude, I wonder if he just forgot to bring bullets. Hey man, either way, I'll take it. Random naked farming with nothing but a salvage sword to defend himself. He didn't have any scrap on him, but, you know, Tommy, I'll take it, man. You know, what I just realized is another problem we're gonna have with this base is I'm not gonna be able to put down furnaces, like, at all. Because people could just run up and loot those, like, there's... No way around that, I think. You obviously can't lock furnaces, so we may have to come up with uh, another solution for that. Anyone want a TP to my epic restaurant, eh? Tinky. Yes. Okay, TP to me. Welcome to my epic restaurant, eh? Hola. Ooh, I like your mask. Thank you, my mother made it for me. Come, come inside and take a seat. Oh, Lord. You can trust me. Okay, man. Whatever you say. You've been tricked by evil Dr. Tinky. <laughs> I'm not a restaurant owner. You are now my slave. Alright, man. Hey, this is a good play. I want you to read my ad script for me. Because I've trapped you and you have no other choice. And I'm going to kill you otherwise. Yes, let me read. Are you too busy gaming hard to stay healthy? Is there just simply not enough time in your day? Then you should try today's sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. 
Oh yes, do tell us more. Say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef crafted recipes at reasonable price. Choose from 45 dinner options and even more market items that suit any healthy lifestyle. Make breakfast easy and start your day right with one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. Get HelloFresh today by clicking the link in the description. I love HelloFresh so much. HelloFresh is awesome. You should sign up for HelloFresh and make Dr. Tinky lots of money. Dr. Tinky loves money. Yes, very nice. Bravo. The sponsors are going to be very happy with that performance, I believe. I love HelloFresh. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Yippee! Ooh, wait, that's a pig. Alright, I guess he's just gonna take it. Take it, take it, take it! Whoa! He did a jump, what the hell? Well, boys, I just logged on for the day, and as I expected, we are completely raided. But as you can see, they didn't break any of the walls. And I'm guessing how they were able to raid the TC and all the boxes was by using a flamethrower or maybe flame arrows. Because as far as I'm aware, those can still go through fences, and then they could just loot the uh, little bag that falls down, like, through the fence. So we're gonna have to design our main base with that in mind, but for now, I think, uh... I think I'm just gonna focus on getting the main base down as soon as possible. And then hopefully our base will be uh, a lot more livable. So I'm gonna speed this up through the power of editing and uh, by the time I come back, we will be ready to build our main base. Now I'm gonna take all this metal and we're gonna build a main base, finally get out of this terrible base that has caused me nothing but trouble. And we're going to build a slightly better base. All right, boys, our new base is finally complete. And this time we have two layers of fences, which if you didn't know, bullets can't go through two layers of fences. They just stop at the second fence. So it may look like we're vulnerable, but we're actually pretty safe in here now. The only way uh, anyone can get to our loot or kill us or anything is by actually blowing through the fences themselves. Rated R for retarded. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Oh, this guy was slightly loaded. All right, boys, I'm going to keep farming scrap and basically just save up for an auto turret. You used to call me on my cell phone. Oh my god, he was loaded! Oh my god, I was trying to get my turret home, bro. I didn't even expect to run into him. Alright, well that actually just paid for the turret that I literally just bought. And a thousand claw? Jesus! Alright boys, now we have a working auto turret protecting our base. So we're gonna leave this running and see if it can actually give me any loot. And just to see how effective this is. Oh. Oh shit. Dude, it's targeting fucking geared players already, bro. Dude, this turret was a great idea. The only thing is it starts shooting them when they're way too far away. Now we have two auto turrets. Now if anyone tries to go near our base, they're pretty much dead. <laughs> Is that your base, bro? You live in a see-through base? That's awesome, bro. Yeah, pretty cool, right? The f Yo, careful. Don't get too close, though. Th that's fucking dope. Yeah, pretty dope, I know. Yo, can I have a hatchet? I'm the kid that was over here with the other kid. I was a duo yesterday, er, like an hour ago. I'm a solo now. 
<laughs> uh, can I get a hatchet? Hey, bro. That's a shield. Oh. Uh, I'm back! Hi, uh, bro. Can I have the hatchet? You came all this way just for a hatchet? Could you turn your turrets off by chance when I run away? No. I forgot they shoot it in. Higher. Bruh, look at this dude. Oh, you're a little fucking bitch. That's what you get for door camping. Don't worry guys, I stopped the door camper. All is well. Damn. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Damn, that guy was easy to door camp though. Maybe I should try to door camp them a little more. Get the fuck out of here, you dumb little n- Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, now I have to door camp him. Yo, this shit's a Twitch streamer, man. He can't be saying those words. <laughs> Dude, I think I put him on a bag timer. He's not shown his face in a minute. Boys, I've been waiting outside this guy's door for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and say he went offline, so, uh, revenge completed, I guess. Alright, boys, so well, I think I'm gonna call it here for this base. It was very interesting living in this thing, and I'm surprised it didn't get raided. And if you're wondering if I would recommend living in a base such as this one, I do not recommend. Don't, don't try this. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crash of us in.